This video is about getting the battery off the tongue of your trailer and bringing it inside your trailer so it's nice and warm and cozy. My A-Liner, like many others, had a 12 volt battery on the tongue of the trailer. It was there for all seasons, like a figurehead on the bow of a ship. I opened it up in the spring and found it was an awful mess with tons of corrosion and grime. After cleaning the contacts, I sprayed it with a corrosion inhibitor. Hopefully, that'll help a little bit. But come fall, I had another look at how it was doing. Not much corrosion, but still a ton of grime. Look how dirty it is. And that is just a few months. That's just the summertime. It's just so nasty. I have problems with corrosion. I have problems with overheating. So it's going inside the trailer. No more of this outside. Where you locate the batteries on the inside of your trailer is gonna depend a lot on the type of trailer you have. I have an A-liner, an A-frame, and the best spot for me is at the front bed on the left side. Let me just move the cushions and I'll show you what's under there. I already had one of my two batteries in there, so it's just a matter of putting in the second one. And it looks like there's enough room. Along with putting the battery inside, you also have to vent it. Now I've actually had one battery in here for some time without venting, because it's just one small battery. But now that I'm putting in two, it's much safer and much wiser to vent. And I'll show you how I vented this just using simple plumbing supplies. Here are the basic components. First, I have two 3 quarter inch PVC 90 degree elbows used for electrical conduit, a 1.5 ABS pipe coupling, a 1.5 ABS pipe end cap, a 1.5 diameter round mini louver used for venting soffits, four 3 quarter inch PVC male terminal adapters with two hex nuts used for conduit, and a length of 1.5 inch diameter ABS pipe. Fortunately, there is room for two. I also had some cable connectors already installed in the floor, so I just reused them. I used wood screws and washers to keep the boxes secure. For the outside vent, I chose a spot near the front corner. I used the pipe coupling as a guide and traced around the inside. I then made a small test hole in the center. I'm glad I only drilled a test hole, as it turned out I was a little too close to the outside side light. Using a 2 and an eighth hole saw, I used the guide hole and drilled in from the outside. I only went as far as the styrofoam. That way I could drill the rest from the inside and not have frayed edges. I next used a coarse gray drum sander to enlarge the hole and fit the coupling snugly. With the louver in the coupling, I did a test. It seemed to fit fine. I used an all-weather silicone to cement and seal the vent in place, but a better choice would have been a marine adhesive. It's a little sticky and messy, but it does work. And do make sure you put the louver in with the slats pointing down. This louver also has a built-in bug screen. Now that you have the vent hole drilled and the coupling in place, you can determine how much uh, ABS pipe you need. And I have about 18 inches of, uh, of pipe there. And I've also uh, glued on the end cap. Now having that there will help determine where the holes have to be 
for your terminals. And I've got them right here. <clears throat> They're about six inches away from the uh, ABS pipe. So adding the male terminal to the, uh, the lid of the battery box is pretty easy. You drill a, uh, a one inch hole. You thread it through and then you just use a nut to secure it in place. The other thing you need to do is use duct tape and tape up the existing vents that were in the, uh, the battery box lid. Because you're not going to use them anymore, it's going to be directed right into this hole for the vent. These go in like that, and then they connect up to your pipe. Same with this one over here. These original elbows were like this. They're a little too big. So I had to cut down the end, and I also had to do some bending to get it at the right angle. So I'll show you how to do that as well. I used a heat gun to slowly warm up the pipe in a vise. Once soft enough, I used a metal tube to bend it. Hold until it cools, then check out the fit and angle. Once you have these elbows bent and cut, approximately at least, you can mark where they're going to be on your ABS pipe and you can cut the holes in the pipe to fit. For both the holes in the box lid and the pipe, I used a one inch Forstner bit. To secure the joint, the best method I found was to use ABS cement. Apply cement to the male adapter and insert it into the pipe. The pipe will soften enough that you can thread it in with a wrench. Now you have your three-quarter terminals uh, glued onto your uh, ABS pipe and you've got your elbows bent. Put those on. Engage them into the hole and just gently see how good your fit is. And you want the pipe to just slope down a little bit so that it's going to rise outside but that looks pretty good now I can I can glue in this part this part always remains unglued as well as here but these two places can be glued and you're good to go so that's basically it all glued in place to use you just put it in the vent push those down into position and you're good so there you go. Batteries are now warm and toasty inside the trailer. Don't have to worry about the dust and the heat and the cold and all the other nasties on the tongue of the trailer. You've got them vented. Path of least resistance, any vapor that are in the boxes go right out through these hoses on the outside. Very easy, couple hours, few dollars, easy plumbing supplies. I think it's a winner. In conclusion, I can't think of a single reason why you'd prefer to have your battery on the tongue of the trailer versus inside. Because inside it's protected from the heat, rain, dust, it's not going to fall off, and there's a lot less risk of it ever being stolen. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and check out some of my others as well. Happy camping! So now I've got this extra room on my tongue, maybe I can use it for something else. Like a bicycle rack?